three G goals. Today I show you how to set three goals that are essential for success in business. The three G goals are gratitude, giving and growing goals and they'll change your life. Have you ever noticed that most business gurus will only ever focus on one goal, which is to make a particular amount of money? When you've set goals in the past, do they tend to only be revenue goals? Or perhaps you're the type of person to set far too many different goals. For example, earn a certain revenue, grow your email list, grow your social media followings, increase your click-through rates, sell a certain number of products and so on. This can get overwhelming and there is a sweet spot. There are three types of goals that are absolutely critical to your success and goal achievement. And most people are not setting these three goals. Once you start to set these three goals in your business, it will change everything for you. Today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about 3G goals for your business. Today, you will discover why most business owners lose control over their goals as soon as they've set them. Why basing your entire business on just revenue goals only leads to disappointment and the three essential goals that all business owners need to set to successfully achieve their goals. My name is Kath Kyle and I'm the author of Stamp Goals book and I'm so happy that you're here. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing manifestation and money mindset. So let me ask you, have you ever struggled with goal setting for business? Have you ever felt like goal setting is pointless because you never achieve your goals anyway? Or maybe you've set regular goals but never achieved any of them, so got totally demotivated. So let me know what you're struggling with by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or send me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. So let's change your struggles into solutions now. The 3G goals will change everything for you. Let's start with looking at the biggest problem with setting business goals in a traditional way. The way in which most business owners set goals is to set a revenue goal for the year and then leave it at that. Most entrepreneurs don't set any other types of goals other than revenue goals. So here's the main problem with only setting a revenue goal. You actually have zero physical control over whether or not you actually achieve it. Just think about it for a minute. Your goal is to be given money. So who gives you money? Other people. So who has control over your goal? Other people. And let's take this line of thinking one step further. It is ultimately God or the universe or whatever higher power you believe in that has ultimate control over whether or not you achieve the revenue you want for your business. It is certainly not you who has the physical control. You can do your best to persuade people to give you money, but you don't pay yourself money for your own products. Other people physically get out their wallets and type in their credit card details and pay you money. By only setting revenue goals, you are basing your entire business on something which you have absolutely no physical control over whatsoever. When you put it like that, it doesn't sound like the most sensible way to run a business, does it? That's because we are missing other types of goals that you do have more direct control over in your business. I also want to point out that just because you don't have physical control over people paying you money doesn't mean that you can't expect to achieve your revenue goals at some point. The ultimate aim is to work to co-create with the universe to achieve your goals, which includes making the exact amount of revenue that you are drawn to. And that's what manifestation is all about. And I cover that in much more detail in my book, stamp goals and you can get a copy of my stamp goals book by clicking the link around this content or going to kathkyle.com forward slash stamp 
goals. Right now we are talking about what most people do which is set a revenue goal to work their fingers to the bone trying to hustle their way to achieving the goal under their own strength. Now I'm going to explain why basing your entire business on revenue goals only leads to disappointment. There is no person in the history of the world who has ever achieved 100% of their goals 100% of the time by the exact deadline they had set for themselves. If we could be such perfect people then there would be no point in being human because part of human existence is to have ups and downs and have a contrast of different experiences. You wouldn't be able to recognise success if you hadn't all also experienced some kind of delay or setback with which to con contrast with it. And it is inevitable at some point in your business, the manifestation of your goals won't come true at the time that you want them to come through. And at that point, you could say that you failed to reach your goals by your set deadline. However, my philosophy is that failure is no longer an option for you. Your current results are a product of your past thinking and your past belief systems. And we are about to change that now. So previously, you are bound to have experienced failure to achieve your goals by a deadline if you are a regular goal setter. And how do you feel when this happens? A normal human response is to feel disappointment of some sort. We wouldn't be human if we didn't feel a range of both positive and negative emotions. Some degree of disappointment is entirely natural at this point. However, what sets apart those people who push on to ultimately achieve their goals at a later date with those who completely give up is their ability to bounce back from this disappointment. Have you ever been so disappointed that you didn't hit your revenue goals by your deadline that you gave up on them completely? I admit that this has happened to me so many times. At one point I became so disappointed I decided I was no longer going to set any goals at all. And this happened to me so frequently when the only types of goals I set were revenue goals. What would happen when I set a revenue goal was that I wrote the amount of revenue down on a piece of paper with a date attached to it. Then I got confused and wasn't sure how to reach that goal. So I got swept away with other people's marketing and the latest new shiny object. And when you base your whole business on revenue goals alone, you are giving the entire control over your business to other people. You are saying that nothing else matters apart from the one thing that you have no control over. When you feel out of control with the thing that matters the most to you, it is no wonder that you give up so easily. Revenue goals are not the whole picture. There are three types of goals that are essential for all businesses to set. I didn't know that there were two other types of goals that I should also have been setting. And when you set all three types of goals for your business, you stand a much greater chance of reaching your goals by your deadline. And if you don't reach your goals by your deadline, you are much more likely to have made some kind of progress towards your goals. Therefore, you will be highly motivated to continue to progress towards achieving your goals. You can continue to work towards your goals by reviewing your progress and setting new deadlines for the achievement of your goals. And I call these three essential goals the three G's. The three goals that we need to set are number one, gratitude goals, number two, giving goals, and number three, growing goals. So let's look at each of them in turn. Number one, what are gratitude goals? Gratitude goals are revenue goals that you are grateful for when you achieve them. I'm not saying that you shouldn't set revenue goals for your business. On the contrary, it is vital that you do set revenue goals. However, changing your mindset around revenue goals makes all the difference when it comes to the level of attachment you place on achieving revenue goals. I have renamed revenue goals and my name for them is gratitude goals. 
Renaming revenue goals to gratitude goals helps me to remember that because I have no physical control over whether someone decides to pay me money, this is something that I should be entirely grateful for. I can be grateful to my customers for choosing me and giving me money. I can also be grateful to God for helping me reach my customers and align myself with them so I can provide something that they want and a message that resonates with them. Being grateful shifts you away from feeling desperate which brings you the opposite of what you want. Another good name for a revenue goal would have been a getting goal but I felt like gratitude was a powerful emotion and provokes a feeling of trusting in the outcome whereas getting often invokes emotions of greediness or selfishness. When I first started my business I remember the first time that I made any revenue I received $30 of ad revenue into my bank account and you might laugh at that amount and say what's the point in bothering for such a low amount of money? Well let me tell you that I was incredibly grateful for this money. We were very stretched financially at the time and had just had a baby. We had no money for any luxuries at all in our life. Having $30 extra a month actually meant the world to us and I was so grateful that I made that money while being able to look after my baby at home. My grateful attitude brought more and more money every month and within a few months of starting my business I was earning over six figures. This was also passive income that allowed me to take almost nine months off my business during my second pregnancy. My business revenue continued to go up and up during the time that I wasn't working on it and I was so grateful for it all. Then what happened was we got used to having so much more money so we moved into a bigger house, bought a bigger car and signed the kids up to go to a beautiful outdoor forest preschool. All of a sudden I felt I had to continue making the same amount of money as I had so many new expenses. What happened was I got really stressed and worried about whether or not I was going to be able to keep making the same level of income. Then every month my revenue started to drop. It dropped lower and lower and the more it dropped the more stressed and desperate I got. I don't think I felt any gratitude for my business revenue for many years and all the while my income continued to go downhill until I finally learned what I had been missing out on. Gratitude is the thing that will bring the biggest results to your business. That is why it's important to never forget to be grateful for any money you receive as you are ultimately not in control of it so any amount of money is a blessing to you. This frame of mind will also help you deal with disappointments in a different way. If you set a revenue goal to earn a certain amount of money in a particular time frame and you don't completely hit it, remembering that you are never in complete control of this goal will help you feel better about it. You didn't have complete control over your revenue goal so you can't hold yourself to blame when you didn't achieve it so don't beat yourself up about it. If you don't hit your revenue goal by your own timings, here is a great prayer or statement that you could say which will help you feel better and help you continue to progress towards your goal. Here it is. I know that my revenue goal will be achieved. I believe the divine will bring my desired amount of revenue in divine timing. I ask for guidance and continue to progress by setting a new date by which to achieve this goal. I trust I will earn my desired amount of money of revenue when I'm supposed to. I believe that my desires are the same as God's desires for me and I follow my intuition for setting a new gratitude goal and deadline. I am grateful for all of the revenue I've been blessed with this month and I trust my financial needs for my business and my personal life will be completely taken care of. You can still be in a state of gratitude for the revenue that your business brought in even if you haven't hit your goal. Staying in a state of mind is essential. Once you get used to always feeling grateful for your business revenue you'll start to see it go up. A lot of us business owners are total control freaks so it feels a bit scary to put our faith in other people and in God or the universe to help us achieve the amount of revenue that we want. Do you feel the same way? 
and although we can't physically control whether we achieve our revenue goal or not there is a lot that we can do to get into the right state of mind for receiving this money and i go over all of this in my stamp goals book so now we've covered gratitude goals here's where we get to take back some of the control the next two goals will help you feel like you can actually influence your business in other ways which will massively boost the confidence that you have and will motivate you to continue on with your business so let's move on to goal number two giving goals so what are giving goals giving goals are what you give to somebody else in return for money business goals are different to any other goals that you will set in your life if you set a goal to run a marathon you just need to take action yourself if you run enough miles eventually you'll achieve the goal business goals are different from personal goals businesses are based on an exchange between two people the business owner gives something of value to somebody else who pays them money in return to receiving money that we are grateful for we need to give something in return for that and that's not to say that people can't receive money without giving something of value this is what gifts are People can give you gifts all the time without having to receive anything back in return. But for a business to function as it should, there should be an exchange of value between two parties. The second goal is called a giving goal because you need to give something of value to someone else in order to receive money for it. The good news is that you have a lot more control over this goal. All you have to do is to provide something of value. To give something of value, you'll either be investing your time or you'll be investing your money to create something that someone else will want to pay you for. Examples of investing your money to create value would be to buy a bulk load of products at a reduced price so that you can sell them at a higher price to make a profit. You could also invest your money in staff who would provide your business product or service. Your staff invests their time in your business and you invest your money to pay them. You could also invest your money by setting up a physical business such as a gym or an online service such as software. You can then pay people to create the software or run the gym. And if you don't have any money to invest in your business, you'll have to invest your time instead. And it is perfectly possible to create a successful business when you have no money. Because I did this myself. I had no spare money to invest in when I started my first business. So I invested my free time into providing content that would help people for free. And I built up an audience online and then I invested more of my time to create products to sell and as soon as I started making money I then went on to hire team members to help me run the business and free up more of my time so that I could work on higher level activities so you have to decide what you are going to give to provide value in your business even if you are investing money in your business you will also need to invest your time, at least at first. You will need to invest your time until the business is up and running and you have the money to pay people for their time. And once you have created something to give to people in return for money, you will also want to create free samples of your work to give to people in return for their time and their attention. And once you gain the attention from your desired customer base, they will be much more likely to invest their money in your products. This content piece is a good example of a free sample. This is actually an excerpt from my book, Stamp Goals. And I am so grateful for your investment of your attention today into my free content. And I am hoping that you love what I'm sharing with you today enough to go and grab your own copy of my book. Once you've decided what you are going to give to add value to people in return for money, you can then set those actions or processes as giving goals that you work towards achieving. 
you have more control over whether you achieve your giving goals because you already have an asset that you control. Whether the asset is time or money or both, and you just have to manage it in the right way to get your business off the ground. If you feel like you don't have time or money, by the end of my book, you'll have strategies for having more of both. There can be some trial and error when it comes to giving goals, but it's usually fairly easy to get started and working towards giving value to your customers. The main roadblock that stands in your way of not taking action is your own mindset. You can easily talk yourself out of taking action if you don't believe that you will achieve your goals. Let me ask you, has this been something that you have struggled with in the past? And don't worry if it is because I have something that is going to turn this around in my book. So then that takes us to the last goal, which is growing goals, number three. So what are growing goals? Growing goals are the adoption of a new mindset that changes who you are as a person. And this is the goal that you have the most control over. But that doesn't mean achieving this goal is easy. In fact, it can be quite tricky to master. But once you master this goal, everything will change for you, not just in your business, but for the rest of your life. Who you are is based solely on your thoughts that you think. So this goal is concerned with your thoughts and your beliefs. It sounds easy to just sit on the sofa and think a particular thought and thinking is certainly an easy task to carry out. In fact, thinking is involuntary. We think thoughts whether we choose to or not. Have you ever tried to meditate without thinking a single thought? It's pretty impossible for the majority of people. So it's not the mere act of thinking that we need to carry out, but the choice to think the right thought that will give us the results that we want. We need to change the majority of our doubtful and fearful thoughts to trusting, joyful and accepting thoughts. When we're able to change our thoughts like this, it shapes who we are. We literally change our personality traits and we become a different person person. We become a successful person who achieves goals. When you improve your thoughts and beliefs, you naturally become a more consistent, generous, trusting, grateful, healthy, fun-loving, ambitious, confident, happy and successful person. Changing your actions first will not change your personality most of the time. For example, you can try and do more ambitious tasks in your business, but if you're continuing to tell yourself thoughts like, this is too hard and this will never work for me, it doesn't matter how many actions you change, your thoughts will always dictate the results in your life. Changing your thoughts is the essential first step to success. Without this step, it doesn't matter how hard you work, you will never achieve your goals. And I know this only too well myself. I spent years and years setting new revenue goals in my business and working really hard implementing the latest strategy that I had paid for training on. And every single time without fail, my revenue would increase a bit due to the new activities that I'd been doing. But some of the parts of my business that had been working like clockwork on autopilot would suddenly stop working and decrease revenue by exactly the same amount. And this would result in my revenue always staying the same. And this went on for years and years and I was literally tearing my hair out. After a complete burnout, I had to take about six months off my business. During this time, I did a lot of work on my mindset and started to be grateful for what I had in my life and generally thought a lot more good thoughts. And you'll never believe what happened. My business revenue started to increase on its own without any input from me at all. One of my blog posts went viral and brought a lot of traffic to me, which resulted in massive increases in revenue across the board. I do not believe in luck. 
I don't think that a blog post going viral is simply lucky. I believe it is one of the ways and not the only way for your business to increase. And this result is a product of the thoughts you think about your business and yourself. This unexpected increase in my business proved to me that my attitude, thoughts and feelings mattered more than anything else in my business. I realized that during this time, although I had a lot of great personality traits that helped me to continue to show up and working hard on my business, like consistency, taking action, risk taking and confidence, I was lacking other vital personality traits that were essential for business success. I had zero gratitude for my business as it refused to grow despite my hard work. I was not tapping into my own intuition and just following the advice of others. None of it made any lasting impact on my business. And I didn't trust that everything was going to be okay and that things would keep increasing. And I didn't have peace when it came to my businesses and felt constantly frustrated with them for not growing. I also stopped having fun a long time ago as I was taking on projects with the sole aim of growing revenue and a lot of them I didn't really enjoy. And because I kept switching my business model, I was also seriously lacking in integrity. I didn't have a mission statement for my business and I lost sight of who my customer was and how I could help them. I was so focused on how I could increase my revenue, I totally forgot who I was helping and why. I forgot my original purpose for my business, which was to help people. I thought just because I was productive and getting things done that I'd achieve my goals. And what I've learned was that having the right mindset means everything when it comes to your business and your entire life. Without the right mindset, you'll never achieve your goals. And I'm not saying that you don't need to take action to build a successful business. You definitely need to take action, but that action can often be a lot less than most people would have you believe. If your thoughts and feelings are in the right place, your actions are more likely to be inspired actions rather than actions taken out of desperation or because you feel like you should be doing something in particular. What a lot of people don't know is that the results they already have in their business are based on what they've already been thinking most of the time. Your thoughts are the most important thing that you need to master in order to achieve your goals. And it can actually be quite tricky to change your thoughts. And that's because most people are not even aware of their thoughts at all. So how do you set a growing goal based on your thoughts? You simply pay attention to your negative thoughts for a day and then you set a goal to think a new, more positive thought in its place. You can use this technique to change your character traits. You also need to use the same technique to achieve your gratitude and your giving goals. And I explain more about this in my book. So how do we change our personalities by changing our thoughts? If you believe that you'd be more successful if you took more action by working on your business, you can use this technique to change your thoughts around this. What you need to do is convince your brain that you are an action taker. Try and remember a time where you have been focused on taking action towards achieving a goal and congratulate yourself for that right now. Then say something like, I have proven that I can be consistent by taking driving lessons until I passed my test. I am so proud of myself for being so consistent and getting such great results. I now apply that same level of dedication and consistency to my business to achieve more great results. An example of a growing goal could be to become more consistent. And in my Stamp Goals book, I help you to decide exactly which growing goals are right for you to be working on right now. So how do we set 3G goals? The order which I have listed the 3G goals in is the order in which most people think about them. They start by thinking, what do I want? How much money do I want to earn? And then they start thinking, how can I achieve that? What do I have to do to get this money? What do I have to give? 
And then finally, usually after years of struggle and trial and error, they finally start asking questions like, who do I have to be in order to achieve my goals? What do I have to believe? In fact, it's natural to think about what we want first, the desires of our hearts, and then work out how to achieve those, those desires afterwards. So when we set our goals, we set our gratitude goals first, then the giving goals, and finally the growing goals. But when it comes to actually achieving these goals, you need to start by focusing on your growing goals first, then move on to working towards the giving goals. And finally, you need to receive your gratitude goals. We need to start by growing our mindset. And when we're in a good place with our thoughts, we need to take action and create something. And finally, we receive the reward for providing something that people want. And this can all happen in the same month. So it's not like you have to wait a really long time, but the more you improve your thoughts, the better your results will be in the future. So now that you have learned why it is essential to set 3G business goals to have a successful and balanced business, you might be wondering how to set your own 3G goals. And I have created a workshop where I walk you through setting your own 3G goals. And you can watch my free business goal setting workshop for fast results, where I show you exactly how to set three essential goals that will get you results within one month. Boost your confidence, feel like a winner and attract more success to you by achieving your goals every time. And this free workshop and associated free workbook is part of my book bonus bundle for stamp goals. And I'm only making this workshop and workbook free for a limited time. So go and grab that now while it's still available. And you can click the link surrounding this content, or you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash goals workshop, goals workshop, kathkyle.com forward slash goals workshop you are going to be so glad that you did. This content was an excerpt from my Stamp Goals book. In my book, I show you where you've been going wrong with goal setting, how to transform your business by setting the right type of goals, how to make sure you actually achieve your goals every single time, how to make a plan for achieving your goals that will lead you to success, and how to make goal achievement a habit. And if you want to read more about it and learn about all of the fabulous bonuses that I'm giving to anyone who purchases my book and get the link to both my Kindle book and my paperback book on Amazon, you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash stamp goals, or you can click the link surrounding this content. So that's kathkyle.com forward slash stamp goals. Now that you've learned all about the importance of setting 3G goals, you might like to see an example of how I set my own 3G goals each month. And this is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle so that you don't miss that. While you're waiting for your copy of Stamp Goals book to arrive, you can start taking practical action in your business today. So don't forget to watch my free goal setting workshop while it is still available. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.